Hi guys, Assalamu alaikum. Hello, hi, and welcome to my kitchen. Cooking is fun with Firdaus. And uh, this was a surprise from me to my viewers, to my audience, to my family, and to my friends. Instead of focusing just on the food, I thought uh, if I make some videos where I'm interacting with the audience, and uh, the audience will love it. <laughs> okay, so. There is it. Uh, this was actually uh, supposed to be posted on uh, January 10th, but uh, unfortunately, we lost our Sultan Kabos, and uh, from there on, I decided that at least for the next 20 days, I'm not going to share anything which is making me happy, and uh, I'm going to sh show respect to uh, Sultan Kabos, and I'm not going to do any videos uh, for the next 20 days. But now, since the 20 days of mourn period is over i decided that i should start now because my viewers are messaging me asking me what happened uh, why aren't you posting so start posting in the recipes so here you go let's begin okay let me tell you quickly about the recipe that we are going to make today mutton kolapuri that's the recipe uh mutton kolapuri kolapuri in fact it's um very spicy and uh, very delicious. Kolapur is famous for its uh, mutton sukha recipes, uh, mutton masala, uh, dry recipes and all that stuff. So let's begin with the recipe now. Okay guys, so to begin with the recipe, here I have a pan in which I'm going to dry roast few masalas first. Peppercorns, cumin, sesame seed, mustard seed, coriander seeds along with some green chilies and uh, some terrid coconut. We will add around 1 teaspoon of oil, 1 teaspoon of peppercorns, 1 teaspoon of cumin, 2 teaspoons of uh, sesame seed, 2 teaspoon of mustard seed, 1 and a half teaspoon of Okay, here to this you need to add poppy seeds but since I am in Oman, poppy seeds are not allowed here so I will be skipping this part of adding the poppy seeds. What you do is you add around 1 teaspoon of poppy seed to this, 1 or 2 teaspoons of poppy seeds to this. Okay, now I am going to add uh, uh, my coconut. Okay, now I'm going to add red chilies. See, normally if you see for half kg of mutton, at least um, 4 to 5 red chilies you should add. But uh, we don't need so much of spice, so I'm going to add only maybe 3. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want, you can add around 5, 6 of uh, red chilies. So it's up to you. Why I'm adding red chilies in the last is these are already dry and roasted red chilies. That's why. If your red chili is just dry and not roasted, then you add in the beginning itself along with the seeds. Okay? So now this is completely roasted. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep this aside and let this cool down. Okay? I'm just going to take a small pressure cooker because I have uh, just uh, 500 grams of mutton with me. So we'll add uh, 2 teaspoons of oil. So there you go, just one or two cloves, one small cinnamon stick, and a few cardamoms. We will add onion, one large onion. Wait for the onions to get translucent. Add around 2 teaspoons, 2 to 3 teaspoons of ginger garlic paste. And now we'll add the mutton pieces. Now, what you will do is you will add half a teaspoon of red chili powder. 
less than a half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, less than a half a teaspoon of cumin powder, again less than a half a teaspoon of coriander powder. Once you mix this, add one glass of water. So now this is going to take at least 15 to 20 minutes to cook. Meanwhile, the seeds which we have roasted has uh, cooled down. So now we will grind this into a fine paste. To this, I'm going to add uh, this uh, tomato paste. This is around 2 teaspoons. I'm just going to add it to the blender. A little bit of water to this. Okay guys, it's been now 15 to 20 minutes, the mutton is cooked. You can see the pieces, they are cooked. Take a nice pan or a pot. To this we will add 2 teaspoons of oil. Now we will add 2 to 3 garlic pods. To this we will add the masala which we have grinded. As you can see, it's getting cooked and the oil is also trying to booze out well. I want to add one and two green chilies along with the coriander leaves. Little bit of water. I will add little salt. Now to this, we will add the Now this will take at least another 10 to 15 minutes for it to get ready You can see now, the gravy is nice and thick and uh, in a very low flame I'm, cook, I'm going to cook this for another 2 to 3 minutes because I want to see the layer of oil on top of the gravy. You can see there is a layer of oil is forming. It looks beautiful in the curry. <laughs> okay, now that's it. I'm going to switch it off. So okay guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you will try this recipe. You can have this with chapatis, parathas, garlic naans, butter naans, um, as South Indian style, even dosas. <laughs> okay, uh, so this is steamed rice, so you can also serve it with nice steamed ghee rice or nice steamed uh, mm, cumin rice, I mean zira rice. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. There is now lots more to come with Cooking is Fun with Pindas. Allah Hafiz.